hours ago, the Senate Democrats announced that they are going to try and jam down a $1.1 trillion spending bill that will serve as the, uh, the government funding through the end of fiscal year 2001, September 30th. It's 1,924 pages long. It includes funding to implement Obamacare. It includes funding for the new IRS agent. It includes massive amounts of pork and earmarks. It's a nightmare bill. Now get this. It should be dead on arrival. But four Republicans are said to be favoring it. Retiring Senators Bob Bennett of Utah, Kit Bond of Missouri, and George Voinovich of Ohio, and Maine Susan Collins. This shows you why lame duck congresses are so wrong, so immoral. You got three people who are going out and they want a big side of pork before they leave. Bob Bennett and George Voinovich especially. Kit Bond I do not understand at all. They don't care what happens to them. They're going to deliver some pork and they're going to go out and lobby or they're going to get a building named after them or something like that. President Obama and Democrats have apparently learned nothing from this November's election. This nearly 2,000-page omnibus filled with thousands of earmarks shows they are still determined to ram through as much big government spending as they can in this lame duck session. Americans loudly demanded an end to the runaway spending, but Democrats are intent on raiding every taxpayer dollar that they can grab from the Treasury on their way out of power. This bill also funds the unconstitutional Obamacare law that Americans oppose and have asked Congress to fully repeal. Democrats haven't given Republicans or the American people time to read the bill, but I'll join with other Republican colleagues to force them to read it on the Senate floor.